warm welcome to all of you and to the press meeting here at uh, Karuma. Tomorrow we are going to play the first of two matches for the final round of the Chan qualification. And uh, we are well prepared uh, for the match uh, tomorrow. If you look at it from a physical aspect, the players are coming back from the preseason in the clubs and they have played two rounds uh, before they are coming in for, for the camp. So I expect all players to be fit after they just completed the preseason uh, in their clubs. Mentally, we are also ready. And what are we ready for? We are ready for a tough uh, match against uh, Uganda. When we play Uganda, it's always a kind of a physical game. It's a tough game. It's an aggressive game. We know them. They know us. And we know that the style of Uganda is they play directly. It's a hard-working team and they are aggressive. So we are not only prepared physically, we are also prepared mentally. So we are ready for this kind of game. And we have been working on, on, on mental uh, toughness also, because in football it's important that whatever happens in the game, you stay consistently and you, are, you, you keep your mentally approach, focus on your performance. Lastly, I will say, I really hope that the fans, the football lovers of, of Tanzania, they will come to Mkapa Stadium, give love, give support to Taifa Stars. Show up and cheer and be behind the team. Because the players, they need it. It is what I call make a difference, the X factor. It's always when you play at home and you can hear that it, there's a lot of expect, uh, fans behind you that gives the extra, it makes a difference. So I really hope that all the fans will show up, be behind the team, because end of the day, this is our national team. And we all, we all have one dream as Tanzanian that we achieve, that we want to go for the Chan, Chan final. We know to go to the Chan, uh, Chan final, yeah, we have to beat Uganda over two games. And we are starting at home, and let us at home get that X factor from the fans, so the players they really go there and be pushed forward to top perform. There's no doubt to get a good result in the first game against Uganda, we need to hit the top performance of the players. And to hit that top performance of the players, yes, it is the players, they are ready for it. But as a football player, when you play it for your national team and you play at home and you can hear the cheering, the support behind you, that gives you the extra. It makes the difference. So I look forward to see all of you and as many uh, and hopefully a lot of spectators, fans on Mkapa Stadium tomorrow at 4 p.m. Thank you very much. Coach, any comments about your uh, opponents tactically? Yeah, as, as I say, we know each other very well because we have been playing many games, Uganda and Tanzania through the history, its rivalry. And we know Uganda, they have a physical approach uh, to the game. The players are tough players. And we also know that they're playing very directly. They're a hard-working team. They run a lot. So I'm very happy that we, at this moment, the players are coming back from the preseason. So they also are, are fit. And we have done our tactical training as well. So we have a plan. We know exactly how we want to do it. End of the day, then there is a battle tomorrow. And we will see. And we have to remember the, the, the ticket for the Chan final will go over two matches. It will be the first part, first half you can say tomorrow, and then there's a second game one week later in, uh, in Kampala. So it goes over two games, and for both teams it's about getting the best possible resu result, get the best possible position before you have to play this, the second game. All players are fit to face Uganda? All players are, are fit except uh, Abdul Sof. We have been out for, for some time because he entered the camp with an injury. But we are trying to uh, give him uh, the good treatment. Uh, we will see today when we do the training how, how it goes. Uh, we, we are short of time now. And then Kapomba, he, uh, he had been injured uh, one or two times uh, with the same injury. And when he came to the camp, it's the same injury happened again. 
so he he is ruled out for for this game. So uh, he will not be available. All the others, they are fit. They have been trading well. Any questions? Yes, coach. It's very strong. We have been working on how to work together as a unit. We have worked uh, the, the days we had, the number of days we had. We have worked the tactic, tactically each and every day. I think I also told early on the press early on the press meeting. We have. Uh, different topics. One day we train defending, one day we train attacking, one day we train transition. We put all that together. So we have been training every aspect of the tactical area as well. Uh, congratulations to Zanzibar Heroes that they beat uh, Uganda uh, second team. Because when I look at the team and I see the team they played in, in uh, Ethiopia, the two games, it was only one or two players uh, from the starting line there. So I've also told the players that the team we are going to play tomorrow will be a completely different team uh, than that was playing in Zanzibar yesterday. So we are prepared. We know the player from. The, we, they know us. We know them. So I will say, in all aspects, we are. We, there is a very good atmosphere in the camp. We've been working tactically, technically, uh, to 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 work as a unit, as a strong team. If, the only thing I would have liked to have, I would have loved to have time to play one international friendly. That is always good to play an uh, international friendly because it, you have answers and international friendly give you the questions. When you don't have time for that, which was not possible this time because the number of days we could not have an international friendly, so sometimes you are missing some answers, but we will get that to, uh, tomorrow and hopefully we will get some good answers to the questions and I'm sure Every game you will get some answers which you have to, to, to use for the second backbone of players which, you, which I know I can rely on. And a number of these players are also playing regularly in the Premier League, which is also important. We all know it's an aspect that sometimes the best players in the country, they will go to the big clubs. And then because the big clubs they have a high number of foreign players, they are not getting much playing time. This is the balance. But we have the backbone of the team, like Aishi Manula, he has been the keeper for a long time. Also, the, if you look up in the centre, we have the backbone. At the same time, it's also important in a team that you get some new players in to push everybody to the, to the maximum. So I'm happy to have a, a few, uh, some, some new players for this camp as well. And they are doing well and they learn about our, the way we want to approach the game. So it's always a balance. You need to. I prefer to have some young, new player, but you also depend on a strong backbone of the team who have been playing consistently for some time.